Hi, I'm Ben Marriott. In this series, we have been creating this animation. And in this video, we are gonna make it more efficient to render using the new After Effects feature, the Composition Profiler. So what is the Composition Profiler? Well, it's one of After Effects' newest features that lets you see how much time each layer and effect is contributing to the render of each frame. We've got a lot of effects in this composition, so it's not playing back in real time with a RAM preview. And unless we're very familiar with the effects we're using and have worked with them a lot before in different circumstances, it's hard to know exactly what's causing that. But the composition profiler can really help us. And we can access it by clicking the snail icon down here. And this brings up a number and a small bar chart beside each layer. And that number is the render time in milliseconds, which is 1,000th of a second. But once it gets above 1,000, it will display in seconds. These are also color coded from green to red. So the redder it is, the slower it is to render. And this is per frame as well, not for the whole length of the composition. So these numbers will vary depending on what frame you're on and what's happening in that frame. And you'll find the total frame render time down here as well. So you can see that we've got some layers that take barely any render time at all and others that are taking up quite a lot of time. It seems like these background creatures are the most render intensive. But on some frames that we skip to, their render time goes way down. Why is that? Well, you might notice a little asterisk next to these numbers. And that means that it has already been cached. After Effects has already rendered it before or in the background, so it doesn't have to render it again. But if we change something about this layer, it goes up to the original time once again. Or the same will happen if you purge your cache. Now we know that these layers are contributing a lot to our render time, but what can we do about that? Well, one thing we can do is pre-render these sections. If we're sure we're not going to change the background and these background creatures, but we're still gonna be tinkering with what's in front for a while, and we don't want that background rendering slowing us down, we can hide all of the front layers, render just the background, and replace those background layers with a movie file. That way After Effects isn't thinking about how much it needs to blur all of these layers and how they interact. It's just playing a video file. But the best use of the Composition Profiler is to really isolate the effects. So if we click this arrow and toggle down all of the effects applied, which in this case is just one, we can see how the individual effects are contributing to the render time of this layer. So we can see that pretty much all of our render time is using this camera lens blur. And this is at 150 radius, which is higher than all of our other blurs. So that's why this one's taking so long. So let's try an alternative. Let's hide the camera lens blur and add the effect Gaussian blur which is a much less render heavy effect. Its blur won't be as accurate to a camera lens or look quite as pretty, but it will probably get us 95% of the way there for a fraction of the render time. And especially for an element tucked away in the background, I think it's probably worth the trade-off. So if we put the Gaussian blur up to around 150 as well, and if we toggle them back and forth, you can see there's some differences, but it's really pretty minor. And by using Gaussian blur, the render time is just 13 milliseconds whereas it's still 300 plus on all the layers with camera lens blur. So let's add Gaussian blur to all these other background layers and remove the camera lens blur. And now our composition looks virtually identical, but we've saved ourselves a lot of rendering time. Now we've got a much more manageable render time for each frame. This is really useful for spotting bottlenecks in your project that might be slowing you down. And in the next video, we're gonna go through all of the latest After Effects features to help us with the rendering.